All right, let's try that again. Welcome to the stream. Uh, today we will be playing an oldie but goodie. One of my favorite entries into the main series. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. And so this game, I am playing it on the PlayStation 2 emulator called PCS x2 highly recommend um i haven't played this game in quite a while but recently and by recently i mean yesterday there was a stream by a channel that i reference called ink ribbon and uh kai morgan who runs that channel did code veronica and after watching a little bit of it it kind of made me nostalgic and wanted to play this so just going to be a casual stream it'll probably take like two or three um, parts to to finish it, but with that, we're gonna jump right in. Resident Evil. And I'm going to be quiet during the cutscenes. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the Z virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later. Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. <laughs> favorite scenes. So badass. These uh, cutscenes don't really compare to what we get currently, but these were absolutely amazing to see um, come to life.
very unlikely that they would like let her keep a lighter. This prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Do it. I love in this game the ability to equip the lighter. Oh no, you know, I can only imagine what she's thinking, like, I survived Raccoon City, and now it's happening again. knife in this game is so overpowered. This gun also, or this game also has one of my favorite handguns in the entire series. Wait, wait. Go 
Don't shoot! Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. Oh, stupid. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. That's beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. You'll only slow me down. I also love the touch that she used the gun, so it has some bullets missing. M93R, an Italian handgun. Such a good one. Inventory things. So the trick to this game is um, in this first part of the game you really need to rely on your knife. Deposit any, any metallic, metallic items you have in the security box. <laughs> Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? 
Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here. Even if yes, he, he can. I'm sure of it. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. That is some trauma. What was that all about? We'll leave that there. We need to unlock the thing. I would love to see some mods done on this game. Um, would totally play. Interesting to do a randomizer. I don't know that it would work uh, super well just because there's so many items that you need and like things that have to be done in certain orders. And I feel like things might get soft blocked pretty easily. Um, this game was also pretty special because I believe it was one of the first times um, that Uh, yeah, so I think this was a special game because it was one of the, it was the first Resident Evil game that didn't rely on pre-rendered backgrounds. So I think these are all pretty much digital. they can't come up here. Didn't move. 
fast enough. Oh my god. Trying to decide if I want to cause the infinite herb glitch or not. Thinking about it. Would be useful. Anything in this room I can't remember. No, that's the bathroom. There's the kitchen. That's... to do this thing. I need to deposit some items because I have too many items. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. <laughs> because the name of this game, again, is... Um, you know, use the knife as much as we can. Might try and use the knife on the dog here.
Boom. Okay, that'll make the last trip over here easier. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yellow caution. I feel like a lot of those sounds are still from RE2. Definitely left behind a key. That would have made my life a lot easier. Tida. Super dark. Probably should tune my brightness a little bit. Hopefully it's coming through okay on this stream. I'm running off of a single stream tonight. Just because I didn't want to set up the uh, second screen. Need it for tomorrow. So I'm kind of like not full screens for the game. I'm like 75%. Uh, and then I have the chat in the other corner uh, in case anyone shows up. Chats. But tonight's just a casual, casual stream night. That's the one I forgot. any metallic items you have in the security box. We'll be leaving that behind. We need that. We do need to... Oh, the lighter. So there is a little uh, trick that I feel like most people know, uh, but I'm going to add that commentary kind of as we go. 
So the zombies were ignoring this hallway before. They're now smashing against the windows. Um, the the kind of trick is if you go and use the um, the alloy maker. So so the whole puzzle here is you need to take that thing, uh, that metal, the eagle metal that we had set up and you need to any metallic items you have in the security box. you need to make a non metallic version that you can take through this room and so if you activate this thing the 3d printer um you'll spawn a cutscene where the zombies break through the glass but if you trigger the shutters to go down they can't break through Which is pretty, pretty schnazzy. It's a, it's a tough hallway to have to fight. I've actually never done it because I knew about the, the quote unquote secret the first time I played this game. Um, so this is like an alloy, it doesn't trigger the thing. Um, but you basically bypass the cutscene. This is a tough hallway to, to fight all of those zombies in, so I just really don't want to deal with it. We're gonna leave the extinguisher, and we'll come back for that at a much later time. We can also leave that ink ribbon. And just to make sure we don't get anyone breaking through while we're gone, we're gonna do that. Little tiny uh, secrets here. There's a few of those throughout the game. I'm probably gonna demonstrate the the glitch, I've actually never done the herb glitch and I'm kind of curious about it. Um, I don't really like to use glitches like that. I don't use a lot of infinite ammo weapons. Uh, even when I do like Resident Evil 3, uh, at least the original, I pretty much stick to, I use the infinite for the nemesis fights, but I like to use the ammo to kind of actually play the game how it's intended. So I don't love to do the glitches, but I've never done it. Um, so I think to, to kind of counter it, I'll probably be picking up herbs and stuff just to see, you know, how I do. Ugh. The lighting is so tough. We pass the first gauntlet. This is also one of the longer Resident Evil games um, in terms of main series. I think the world record, just from watching the stream, um, or at least part of Ink Ribbon's stream, which I highly recommend anyone that watches this after the fact, I'm gonna upload to YouTube. Uh, at some point, I have a backlog of videos that I need to upload. Um, I highly recommend if you see this, definitely check out Kai's channel. It's really one of my favorite um, Resident Evil channels. It's really the only one that I actively watch the videos for. Um, unfortunately, I don't watch a lot of his live streams live, but he's a he's a fun commentator. When you watch, um, even you know on the the later broadcast or the the saved version. So highly recommend check out Ink Ribbon um, for really good RE content. Um, Albert F N Wesker is also really great. He does a lot of um, RE mods 
which is which is cool. I've found a bunch of mods just from him. I think my controller is like I'm like rotating side to side a little bit. What happens with tank controls sometimes. Um, I think so. That's can do that. Okay. Yeah, so I also like to trigger this. Um, typically, you would not go this way yet. But um, this is like one of the, the potential options. Um, I like to make this run now rather than later um, just because it feels like it makes the game go a little bit faster uh, I also like to get the bow gun as early as possible because it is helpful it's kind of a spongy weapon I'll explain what that means in a second. Also, classic scene here. I like in this game, um, so I like in this game that the cutscenes, you can sometimes see the weapons in them, which is really cool. Biohazard contamination detected. Level three. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. <sighs> that was close. Or is it like super difficult to see? Mm-hmm. 
What did I do? I screwed up my buttons. Come on. Right, okay, cool. We're done. Come on. I am struggling with these corners right now. So I'm also going to play this, you know, kind of as if there aren't save states, but I also am not stupid and I don't want to come all this way to, to lose the game. So I'm going to hope that I don't need to use save states, but you have vomit on me, really? And now I'm on danger. I probably should have just walked away from that zombie. Because now I have dogs to deal with. Right, you come over here. Come on. I think there might be an herb in that office. Which means I need to switch off the knife at this point. There's a red herb there. I kind of needed to save that for something else. But there's another one in the...
Oh. Yep. Okay, well that's why, you know, I don't want to use save states, but guess what? We're going to use it. Oh good, he's gonna come down, and then I don't have to worry about actually killing him. Woo! Alright, let's do this for real this time. Of hot air inside. It's a pretty uh, nice little like waiting pool and thing. It's a very big locker room though, if you think about it, considering like how small that that thing is. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is the so this is the training facility. So I guess there's more to the facility. But, you know, it's not very impressive. Really? Save bullets wherever possible. He's down now. Ha! So I'm not gonna take that with me yet. Because I don't have the room. Nicely done, nicely done. All right. Wasn't sure if I could combine. So there is ammo. I don't know if I want to try and get it. Oh shit, that's right. I don't have space. Now I do. Sweet. Okay. I've used one bullet so far of my handgun, which is great, which means I'm gonna have tons of ammo. Uh, 
there is an issue with this game um, and ammo. It does run out pretty easily, especially for the handgun, because we... We will get um, handgun parts later in the game. Sorry, I'm like very focused. Boom. Um, we will get parts later in the game that make the handgun infinite, or not, sorry, not infinite, um, make it semi-automatic. And it burns through ammo so fast at that point. All right. There's a painting of a man. I feel like this may or may not be right. I don't think it is. I think the numbers are wrong. Yeah. It's definitely NTC. I know I just watched the stream, which is why I'm like, I think I know what it is, but I'm also like, <clears throat> and it's actually funny because they did the same thing in that stream, so. of the best save musics in the games. Okay. I think we can call the knife quits at this point. We'll put that there. We'll put the MP100s, or the M100Ps. One of my favorite guns in the game as well. I like to save them though. I don't like to use them all up right away. It's a very nice office. TC thirty zero three nine four. What did I say? It was thirty ninety three. That was not too far off. Three nine four. Okay, let's put that there. We need to put this away. We need to put this away. I want to do the glitch just to see if I can do it. See if it works in the emulator. Um, doesn't mean I have to use that for healing. Thank you. 
NTC zero three. All right. So I can't remember if there's zombies in here or not. If there are, I feel like I should have kept my knife. Would you grab the thing? the stuff in here and then we're gonna check the we're gonna grab the knife because I being stingy with my bullets just a little bit longer um, there's a few cases that we find throughout the game um, there's like th there's at least two um there might be three and they require with the exception of the one we already unlocked a they require a lock pick because they're a simple lock and so there's a thing called a zapping system in this game where there's you know you have to get the lock pick and in order to get the lock pick you need to go through Rodrigo who is the gentleman from the beginning who let Claire out um, so you have to trade you have to go and bring him um, medicine and then you'll trade your lighter for the lockpick and then you'll be able to there's like three or four locks we just found one of them before as well um, in different places throughout this um, island that you need to go and unlock. Um, and then in the second kind of location, there's a bunch of simple lock things that Claire needs to unlock in order for, you know, Chris, when he takes over, because he won't get the um, lock pick. a red herb. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. It's not in the right location now. disturbing video. There's a lot of mental health things that are kind of addressed in this game. Different traumas. The Ashford twins. They're so creepy. Um, I will say there is a part 
in this game later that a comment gets made and I don't think it was meant to be as offensive as it kind of comes out um, but needless to say and I didn't make it that far in um, the stream I watched but it is unfortunate and I don't want to give anything away yet and I'll kind of mention it again but it does not it did not age well um, and was not an okay thing to kind of put in this game um, and I would hope that you know if this game was being made now it would have been reconsidered um, that being said uh, stay tuned if you're curious to find out what I'm talking about probably won't get to it tonight spoiler alert okay let's set this thing up I'm gonna do the save state one more time and by one more time I mean there'll probably be a number of save states at a couple different times in the game but I'm gonna do it right now okay so we need to equip this now we have the so the way that this works is you need to have a gun in slot two you need to have the playing manual in slot one and you need to have the item the the recovery item that you want glitched in uh slot three and so we're going to go into the files and we're going to read the playing manual which we haven't examined yet Okay, that didn't work. Oh, yes, yes it did. So see how um, the equipment, the thing equipped is the herb? And now... Yes, okay, so I did, I did it. Um, so now no matter how many times I use it, it will not disappear. And it can be put in here. We can trade it to Chris, I'm pretty sure. And so this will still work. Yeah, awesome. So now we have an infinite herb. Um, in particular, it's an infinite mixed herb. So this won't cure poison, unfortunately, but it'll pretty much cover everything else which is super helpful should make this playthrough a lot easier um, I do recommend playing the game without the glitch because it it is um, you know something that came up in the stream just because I mean I keep referencing the stream so apologies for that um, but, you know, one of the comments that was made was this is probably one of the hardest of the original yeah! style Help me! Resident Evils um, Steve? from an inventory and item management. Uh, there's not a lot of health items and ammo is difficult to come by if you burn through it. Um, so highly recommend giving it a try on you know the intended with the intended game um, 
it's definitely worth worth your time. Actually, I think this cutscene does let you. Um, yeah, so definitely worth your time. Uh, another topic that was kind of discussed was, you know, should they do a remake? And I would love to see a remake of this game. Um, quick side note, so there's a puzzle in this room where you can't take the Golden Luger's um, because this happens and you get trapped. If you let it go for, there's like this, if you go for a certain amount of time beyond this and then another certain amount of time, the reaction that Steve has is different. So I always like to give him the, the worst reaction. I'm just gonna kind of let this play out. Um, going back to kind of complete my thought, I would love to see a remake of this game. I think there's so many things that the game did well, but there are a few things that I would love um, to see, you know, changed. I would love, I've always wanted a difficult mode of this game. Um, so one of the unfortunate kind of pieces of Code Veronica is there's only one difficulty level. So it's the same game every time you play it. And it would be really nice to have, you know, a normal and a, and a difficulty. Um, I think with today's graphics and kind of programming, you could do so much with these weapons. Uh, items and, and locations, you know, it. this game has one of the more interesting um, locations and there's so many different locations i'd love to see them remastered i would love to see um yeah i i would love to see the best parts of two and the best parts of three um as long as they are faithful and they don't kind of do what they did with three where i really love the remake of three but they cut so much stuff out i really want to see the full game, um, and maybe even expand it upon. Oh, he's suffering. We're almost there. I think it's something like you have to wait three minutes. So, apologies. most dramatic music. Claire's like not feeling it. Okay, that's the trigger. Huh. Huh. I made it. Huh. That was too close. What took you so long? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. Give them to me. Fine. But let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. I'll see you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! What are some more fun facts? Oh, oh wait, I forgot. Cutscene. He's such what a terrible shot. How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no 
idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of the space. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The, the Ashford, Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. She's like, I roll. I don't care. Now tell me. Why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental team virus was released. Creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who, who do, do you, you work, work for? for? Who, who sent you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Have it your, your way, way then. then. You're just, just a, a rat, rat in a cage, cage anyway. anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> <laughs> This game is 20 years old. That's insane. In apparently in 2001 it was ranked 69th in the top games of all time, particularly for the Dreamcast. Very interesting. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, do I want to drop this off? No. We'll keep it. Maybe I'll end up knifing just a little bit longer. We're going to need that. It's a navy proof. Those bugs are annoying. More ammo. The palace. Come on. One thing I love about the bowgun is its kind of ability to uh, hold pretty much any ammo you pick up for it, which is really nice. Definitely helps to save space. Just a heads up. I will probably play for another half hour, no more than an hour. I gotta get up early. I can't get too late. It looks like I might have one viewer. If you're here and listening, um, welcome to the stream. Um, always happy to have anyone here that, that stops in. Feel free to, to comment in the chat or you know, whatever, but I appreciate you stopping by and, and hanging out. Such an interesting place to hide a building. A little bit 
slow on the uptake. Oh my god. I guess I should have brought my infinite herbs and spices. And I'll leave that there. There's an ink ribbon. I'm gonna take this ammo. I have more than enough now. I should just start using it. Let's start with the bats. Freaking bats. I love Halloween. Is there another really cool feature that I loved about this game was, um, I think I said before, you know, being able to equip the lighter was really cool, but the fact that it had, you know, a function, it, it felt like the lighter was more than just lighting a fireplace to get a map or, you know, lighting a weird torch and a fire puzzle. Um, oh, lighting uh, gasoline soaked rope. And so you can't really tell there's a plane there. It's hard to see with the brightness. I'll try and fix that for the next time. Um, but it, it's cool to have the use for the the lighter um b you know the bats will stay away from you if you are carrying it um Aside from a full remake from Capcom, I would love to see, you know, one of the projects that people have done with the HD remasters. I'd love to see that done for um, the GameCube version. So they do, this was in Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, it was ported to the 3, and then also existed in um, the GameCube. I don't know if I said that. Um, and so I would love to see the HD remaster for this game. I think it would be really cool. Uh, the one for two and three is absolutely beautiful. And these graphics are already pretty good. So I'd be curious to see, you know, what they would look like with a remaster. There's four zombies. Oh my god, it's so difficult to see. Okay, I have to... I have to fix my screen. Just give me one second. I always had this problem even on PlayStation. Like, you know, back in the day of PlayStation 2. 
think I can go in here. And I don't think they can get to me. Yeah, so this was a problem with the original PlayStation 2 version as well. I feel like I always had to turn my brightness on my TV way up and kind of like overexpose it just to get um, proper visualization. Um, I definitely just had to do it again. And I'm not surprised because this is a PlayStation 2 emulator. So it's not, the graphics aren't really balanced properly. So that's something I would love to see. Should look up after, um... After the stream, I want to look up and see if the people that did the um, seamless HD mods, if they're planning on doing one for, for this game. Probably be a little bit more difficult because it is... Um, it's not HD... All right. They're not pre-rendered backgrounds, so you can't really upscale... I would imagine um, you're not going to be able to upscale the same way that you would um, a pre-rendered background. So yeah, I'm just not sure if, if it's possible. Let's see what else. Um, love the costumes or the outfits in this game. Um, Claire's vest and kind of under top is awesome and that's kind of the direction I wish that they had gone in the remake if they weren't going to be faithful to her original. Um, this was kind of like a nice next step for her and this vest was really nice. Um, it had the let me live. It, it felt very of the time. So yeah, that was like yet another thing that was brought up during the stream yesterday that happened. Um, you know, the, the outfits were very of the time. Um, particularly, I guess those are considered mom jeans. Um, so that's not weird for uh, 2000, 2001. I need that. Okay, I'm gonna drop the knife off. We don't need the knife anymore. I have not saved yet either, other than those um, save states. So, kind of pushing my luck, but at the same time, There's not a lot that's happened yet, or will be happening, that really puts us in risk. Um, yeah, the outfits were, were pretty cool. I like, you know, Chris's later in the game looks a lot like his, you know, RE1 outfit, which I, I like callbacks to that kind of stuff. Um, 
aren't a lot of alternate costumes in this game. Steve's is kind of just like a prisoner uniform, but camo pants, I feel like we're, we're big during that time. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the vest with the jeans and the red shoes. I think that this is a really cool look. A gulp worm. I think for this, they were capitalizing off of the um, Grave Digger. Except the gulp worm is pretty harmless for the most part. You can avoid it for most of the... Uh, you can avoid it for most of the game until you can't with Chris. Is that the harder than silver? Ventilation is not complete. That's right. You can go back and grab those bolts that we did not take. They should have had that buzzing audible in this room. That would have made a lot of sense, just like a little bit more dull. Um, yeah, so with the gulp worm, you can, uh, you can, you know, attack it with Claire. And if you do that, it'll be weak when you have to fight it later. And it will stop. Um... Okay, that's nice. Just print the thing. Um... So it'll be weaker. It'll be easier to take down. Um... I think there might be a cutscene. And then it will leave you alone. So from now until, you know, it's we're no longer here, you have to watch out for it in that yard um, and it's kind of annoying to have to outrun it but it's also not a huge challenge no so perks or no perks it's you know Fred, little bastard. There is a weird side character named DIJ in this game. Um, he is a mouse, which is kind of a weird choice. Um, you'll see him in a second. You can hear him squeaking. <laughs> Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground, playground I have prepared just, just for you. you. Please, Please try, try and keep, keep me amused. And, and, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I, I so want to enjoy, enjoy this. I don't know why I was concerned about picking up that herb, because I forgot 
I have the thing. Or that red herb, for that matter. Um, so that's the hemostatic medicine. We'll have to go back towards the prison at some point. Um, later in the game, so not going to worry about it now. I'll just tuck that away. Um, one of the really cool features in this game is the gunpowder arrows, which are super cool. Unfortunately, it's recommended to save them for one of the bosses. So, you know, you don't really get to enjoy them as much. Uh, I am going to pull the MP100s out. And I am going to pull my herb just in case. Yeah, I really love these pistols. I wish they would have been able to be reloaded. I wish you could have used them more. This was like the first time that you could dual wield in a Resident Evil game. And there's a bunch of dual wield weapons, which is pretty cool. Snatch. Another cool cutscene. Golden Lugers. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here. Take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal. In exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> okay, okay. Too bad they can't use them. <laughs> Such this a bummer. Thing is too cool. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Yeah, you cheated me too, Steve. Plenty of ammo, just for you. Way up there. Give me a boost, and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back! You're heavier than you look. Hurry up! Happy now? What? 
now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into to death. death. Ba -ba -ba okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> I like to trigger this cutscene. Do you want me to take care of this for you, little boy? So sassy. So you can, the really cool thing, okay, I need to, to not, I guess. So you can see he's like splitting his aim between the two of them, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is like playing as Sherry or um, Carlos, Ada, you know, all of those things. It doesn't really, as long as you don't die, um, come on, why are you stuck? As long as you don't die, it doesn't really matter how much ammo you use or anything like that. You don't actually play as Steve again. And the benefit of clearing all of these spaces is that you don't have to use Claire's ammo, um, which really does save you a lot. So definitely recommended to check all of the spaces. Get a full clear. That's cool. I didn't know you could get them to like cross over one another. That's pretty fun. Look at these Ingram. There is a way to get uh, so the submachine guns later in the game if you do that zapping system that I talked about earlier um, correctly. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See, you can depend on me. You see, this thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Then people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! That's good. Just waste the ammo, Steve. Steve. Never mind. Let's get going.
I must follow Steve. Definitely risky, you would have killed Claire. Steve. Father, father, father. <laughs> Dad I used to work for Umbrella. I tried to steal information, intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed, and we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. It's okay now. Just rest. So funny enough, so totally random sidebar here. Um, there is a really cool streamer that I enjoy watching. Um, not a gamer streamer, but just like um, life, I guess, topics, um, reviews, stuff like that. Uh, Philip Solo TV, definite. Oh my god, you can't even see what's happening in here. Definitely recommend checking his channel out. Um, but he just started live streaming uh, Resident Evil 7, and I don't think he's played it. So that should be interesting. definitely gonna jump on as I before bed to, to watch a little bit of that because it should be pretty interesting that thing that we just found unlock a couple things and then I'm probably gonna call it so probably like 10 or so minutes there was ammo back there
up to 270. Not bad. Go and unlock a bunch of doors. Now that comes back to haunt us later. Need to drop off some of this stuff. like to as anyone that's watched my streams before so i don't know like i said i think i have a viewer right now um again happy to have you here don't know if you viewed before um or for anyone that jumps into this stream uh you know post stream or on youtube um if you haven't watched me before in the you know classic re games where there is a um item box I am very uh, I very often organize it um, I put my herbs above the line uh, there's usually like a red line which is kind of the marker for where um, you'll always go to, so it's kind of like your first spot um, every time you open it. So the herbs go above that, ink ribbons in the first spot. If it's RE3, I put the um, reloading tool. Um, key items go in that spot as well. Um, and then I skip ahead a little bit for weapons and ammo. Um, it just helps me organize it. I'm very type A. Um, all fun sidebar facts. It's very strange. Um, so this room you don't go into. That leads to the turntable room, which is it'll be important for Chris's part of the campaign. Um, but there's two of those bander snatches in that room, and there's no reason to to open it. You don't get anything 
Except for, I think there might be... Uh, Bowgun arrows? But it's not worth taking down two of those for a bunch of arrows. Um, they end up disappearing if you wait till Chris's, and then you can just kind of take them, and you have to go in that room anyway. So, no reason to uh, to waste the ammo now. Okay, so I think I need to go to the second floor. Shoot, did I hold on to it? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's the room that I fell down the hole with Steve. Army proof. One, one, two, six. Hey Gabs, you came at a funny time because I'm about to close out in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, we'll go do the thing quickly. You did. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. I have not been streaming a lot lately. Um, work has been very busy. My schedule has changed a bit uh, in terms of my evenings. Um, I was gaming in the mid-afternoon with a friend, and now I'm gaming at night, so I don't really have time at night to stream anymore. Um, I'm also not staying up as late because I've been getting up a lot earlier for exercise and stuff before work so i um, hoping to pick up the streaming a little bit more for sure one night every uh, or one day every weekend probably Sundays like this will be a streaming night um, maybe trying to stream like five six o'clock at night instead too so probably no more night streams for the time being it's just too difficult with my work schedule and uh all that jazz well i figure if it's like a five o'clock well it wouldn't probably be a five o'clock but if it was like a six o'clock stream or something you you don't start yet so you might be able to hop on for something like that and there's the monster that i'll have to deal with later that looks like basically a ball sack
What time do you start slash leave? I thought you started at like eight. I'm gonna start at seven then. God, I really need to fix the brightness. It's like impossible to see. My infinite herb. I think I'm going to save here and call it a night. Training facility, DR, diorama room. Yeah. Okay, cool. So thank you for stopping by for that last few minutes appreciate you visiting. I think there might have been someone watching in the background. I can't tell. The viewers list is sometimes weird. Um, but anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for anyone that was here, is here, that I can't see. Thanks for anyone that tunes in after the fact. Um, and I will get this uploaded to YouTube hopefully soon. I have a bunch of um, RE2 remake and RE three remake stuff that I've streamed lately um, that need to go up as well. So I just need to put those videos together um, and actually sit and do an upload. So maybe sometime this week, not that those get a huge amount of traffic, but let's, uh, let's start getting some, some people. So with that, um, I'm going to call it. I hope you have a great night and thanks again for stopping by. Take care.